today. Denver 7's Megan Lopez joins us now from inside the airport. So, Megan, we know there were some uh, flights canceled because of that power outage we saw in Atlanta's airport. How are things looking out there right now? Well, right now, I mean, you think it would be a very busy traffic day in terms of holiday traffic and also some of those cancellations, but it's pretty calm and quiet here like right now. Also a little sneezy, uh, snoozy rather, <laughs> a little early in the morning now. But some of the boards are showing that there are still delays, there are still cancellations, and they're all kind of stemming back to what we saw happen. The power outage in Atlanta lasted for 11 hours and affected more than 1,100 flights, including some here at DIA. Atlanta's mayor told us that and the media outlets that that was caused by a fire in a Georgia power facility that was underground and it was an electrical facility. Hartsfield Jackson finally got its power back around midnight last night, but flights here are still being affected. Online we showed that at least 10 flights were canceled this morning, leaving out of DIA and no one in the airport. Uh, uh, no airline, one airline anyway, is being affected. It was Delta, it was United, it was Virgin Airlines, so there are just a lot of different airlines that are being affected. So if you are going to leave on a flight this morning, no matter if it's heading to Atlanta or to some other place, make sure that you check online and at least call your airline before you head down here to make sure that that flight is on time and hasn't been delayed or canceled. We're live this morning here at DIA. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.